What do you get when you combine shoot em up, crank, and a little bit of gamer? Hi, I'm Jay, and welcome to a movie review. So, in this Guns Akimbo, a Daniel Radcliffe plays as Miles, a mistreated programmer that hates his work and who still dreams of his ex-girlfriend. On his free time, he likes to get drunk and likes to troll on internet, and then he goes on trolling to this site called Schism. Schism uh, is an illegal program uh, on internet where people hunt and kill each other for real. Mile goes on trolling on the Schism broadcast. After a while, Schism sends Miles a message containing his IP address. He gets terrified and shuts his computer. The next day, some people from Schism comes and kidnaps him. They drill holes to his hands and nails two guns to them and then he wakes up probably the next day and uh, they send him a message that kill Nyx and live. Nyx uh, is the main champion on the schism and she has killed everyone who she has been set up with. So this is the setup of this ultra-violent action packet movie that has a lot of kills, bullets and blood spilling deaths. The camera work on this is so in sync with the action. It's brilliant. I, I loved it. It was so good. And the audio, I have no complaints about that. It was at par with everything else. The story in this movie is really thin and uh, didn't really need a story that much. You get to know a little of Miles and his life. But still, I invested with Miles and his journey and I was rooting for him all the way of the movie. Daniel Radcliffe was very good as Miles, as he is a good actor. Samara Weaving is playing as Nyx and she nailed this big crazy character. Ned Dennehy uh, was uh, good as creepy and terrifying Richter and Natasha Liu Bordiso played nicely Miles' ex-love, Noah. I've always been a really big fan of this uh, crazy roller coast action-killing shooting rail movies. <laughs> and I think there should be more of these. Sometimes you just want to see great action and showy scenes without a heavy plot. And I really, really loved this one. So I am giving Guns Akimbo 4 out of 5 stars. I really recommend this to all who love action heavy movies. That was my review of Guns Akimbo, and I'll see you on my next video. Okay, bye bye. Bye.